Hello guys and in today's video we shall discuss about semi-supervised machine learning. This is the third type of machine learning in our series and we will explain with the help of few examples. So let's start. First let me just brush up a few concepts of what is machine learning actually. So this machine learning is training my system or a machine so that it learns automatically and also it improves with experience from experience. And I don't have to every time program manually each and every instructions. I don't have to give it to the machine every time I have to perform a task. So this machine learning really reduces a lot of time and effort in solving any particular task. Now coming to semi this uh, types of machine learning, we've got supervised, unsupervised and semi-supervised machine learning. The first two are already being covered in previous video. I will provide the link and the third one we will be discussing today. So the semi-supervised, as the name suggests, just break up this name and try to link it yourself. Semi-supervised, that means it is half supervised, it is half guided and half is not guided. So half, that means it will have a mixture of both supervised and unsupervised machine learning concepts, right? And into use machine learning terminologies i would say that it works both with labeled and unlabeled data and this unlabeled data set are more in number as compared to the labeled data set labeled data set that means we have got inputs and the output of which is already been known that is labeled data set and unlabeled data set is that for which output is not known now semi-supervised machine learning the best example is reinforcement learning now what does this reinforcement learning mean? It simply means that suppose there's an agent, any agent this could be, this could be a machine, this could be a robot or anything. And when this interacts with the environment, it does some action, suppose it, it touches something and likely it would be punished or it would be rewarded. So every action will be given or returned by a reaction which could be either a reward positive or a negative punishment. So either of these rewards or punishment is being learned and saved for the later moves, right? And the agent goal is simply to find a pattern of actions and they try, it just tries them all, it compares the results and takes the next, the next step is taken only that as per the stored values and for which the reward point was the maximum. This is how it is learning through experiences and through various trial and errors. So uh, I just read this out that there is an agent that interacts with a certain environment, this changing its state and it receives the rewards or penalties for its input. And its goal is to find a pattern of action by trying them all and comparing the results that yield the most reward points, right? So it is fairly very easy that uh, an agent reacts or uh, performs certain actions with the environment. The environment either punishes it or rewards it, and accordingly, the results are being saved, and the next move is decided. Next move is decided. Actually, in that move, there is no improvement, but yes, this is for sure that the next effort does not go waste because it learns and improves. That's why it is reinforcement learning. It is, it is making self effort and learning and improving with several set of examples and we sh then we see that the various applications are it has been used in robotics that you know it's used for high dimensional control problems you know Google used it to cut its energy consumption by 50% and it has used deep mind technologies which which uh, really uses to its uh, reinforcement techniques the energy consumption so go through it and understand how does it really work it will be really helpful for your projects also Next is text mining. Salesforce, which is a cloud computing company, this used this reinforcement learning to produce highly readable summaries, you know, of long text. And uh, this can, you know, it can uh, design any algorithm which can skim through various large number of um, text, large and of any any kind of text, be it any context, it can just summarize that long text. So this is a huge achievement of this. And in healthcare also, wherein we can um, provide very optimum treatment to the patients for chronic diseases or for medication, different doses, designing 
customized services to the patients, right? And the fourth one is the trade execution, where in major companies like in financial industry, they are using this machine learning algorithms to enhance their trading and equity to improve the performance and revenue and sales. So they are also jumping into this machine learning domain to try their hands on this. So this was all about this reinforcement machine learning and in the next video I will explain more about different types of algorithms and how to really use it in your models. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.